Okay. We're going to do the power back here. Uh, power plug like we did before on the other videos. So what we did is we went ahead and got these uh, power inlets so you can theoretically plug in an extension cord and then plug it into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these back here. I went ahead on the inside. Cut a hole out down here. Um, I don't know how deep this is going to be and I didn't want to take that whole piece of paneling off. But I also have a power box I'm going to put back, breaker box, so I'll probably cover it with that. But uh, let's get started drilling a hole. Just got me a hole saw um, that should fit around this. The trim ring should still cover the hole, and then I'll have screws to put it in. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead and wire this up. Get the outside done. A little rubber seals. It was a little flimsy. You push in right here, and I just added some extra foam around, mushed in, so it made it more the wire's solid. coming in. I'm gonna have a breaker panel. I'm gonna mount up above it. The wires are coming, dip into here. So I'm gonna get little connectors, little clamps, cut my wires off, ride them up in there, and uh, go from there. Okay, so we have our connectors right here. Um, so I've got two, one side to be 15 amps, on one plug in 15 amps on the other um, I got 15 amp breakers so literally I'll run one side for like air conditioner and then the other side will be for lights and power and everything else you know uh, microwave and stuff so um, this will be your hotline this will be your neutrals the grounds there's not a ground bar here I guess I'll just put the grounds together and then I'm going to take another ground wire out and actually ground it to the trailer itself and um, Put the breakers in and that part should be wired. <clears throat> okay, so we got the electrical in and then uh, we got a box beside it where I got my grounds in there. And then I went ahead and ran a cable over. I'm going to put an outlet here and this is going to be for the air conditioner. It's going to sit here, hopefully, maybe. That's what I'm hoping. Went ahead and built a small little wall on this side. And that's the shower stall is going to be sitting there. And it'll come out 32 inches and then from there over will be the bed and then I'll build let me back up here we're going to build a cabinet around that water heater and around the water tank and uh, that'll be obviously later on uh, the roof is done well, it's kind of hard to see but the roof is done the lights in I haven't got the switch in yet but uh, slowly coming along <clears throat> 